that was a little flip. Didn't mean to be so insensitive. Especially since Mike is obviously having a, a rough time right now. Yeah, he is having a hard time. He's, um... He's created Kendall for himself. He's... Has this playmate that he sings with and talks with. I talked to a doctor and then they said it's normal, so... I... Well, it seems to be working. He's quiet as a mouse now, huh? We'll check on him. Did Liza hurt Spike, didn't she? What do you think? What did you tell her? What do you mean? How do you know Liza's here? We had an agreement. Okay, can we not talk about this right now? Just tell me what happened. I covered. All right, well, I turned off the monitor as quickly as I could. I know, Monkey. baby, I know, I know. Time for sleep, all right? Put your head down. Yes, your brother's already sleeping. Come on, let's go to bed. Yeah, bedtime. There you go. Can't know. Go back into your room, please. I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna deal with Liza. Deal with her? Just tell her to get out. I'll let you know when it's safe. Is everything okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it, it will be once I prove that Annie killed Stuart. Kendall's back home. Thanks with the loan. And the help with Adam. Yeah. Uh, hey, listen, um, I could certainly stay if you'd like some company. No, it's, uh, thank you. I gotta read a book to the boys. Okay. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Mm hmm Good night. I know what you and Liza are trying to pull, and I want it to stop now. After the defendant's initial arrest, it was determined that she was incompetent to stand trial. She was then placed in a mental health facility where she was to receive treatment and further evaluation. However, the doctor at Oak Haven, uh, Dr. Sinclair, was found to be abusive and ultimately a danger to the defendant. Shortly after, she was to be transferred to another facility. And during that transfer, she managed to escape, but eventually turned herself in, at which point she was taken into custody, stabbed, and subsequently hospitalized. It's been quite a journey, hasn't it? A hearing was then conducted, and it was ordered that Miss Slavery, now electronically monitored, be allowed to stay with Mr. Chandler while she underwent further evaluation by a court-appointed psychiatrist. And after a six-week period, it was Dr. Nolan's opinion that the defendant was competent to stand trial. Now, I assume that the DA agrees with this report. Yes, Your Honor. Does the defense wish to present any witnesses? Only the defendant herself, Your Honor. I see. Miss Lavery, you have heard what Dr. Nolan has to say. But I would like to ask you, do you believe that you are competent to stand trial? Hey, JR, it's Marissa. Where are you? I'm just starting to get worried, so call me. Let me know that you're okay. Follow the light for me. Mm -hmm. Dr. Robert, 274 forward. Dr. Robert, 274 forward. All right. Now, um, listen to your heart. I'm surprised you haven't asked. Don't you want to know if I've been drinking? Have you? Not since Uncle Stewart's murder. So these dizzy spells, did they just start? I've been feeling pretty crappy for a while, but they come and go. Are you eating? Sleeping? Not much. I suppose that's probably why I passed out, right? Maybe, but I, I know that you've been under a lot of stress. Well, my dad's about ready to uh, marry the town's psycho. Does that qualify as stress? I was talking about the murder of your Uncle Stuart. 
I was hoping just to stop in and Joe give me immunity boost or whatever it is you guys do. Well, I tell you, this guy wants to run some tests. What? Why? They're just some routine blood work. Make sure that we don't miss anything. Just give me one minute and I'll grab a nurse. Why'd you take off without telling me? I, just, I, I need some air. Okay. I don't know what to do. I don't know how much of this she can take. She's not eating. She's not sleeping. Last night we spent the whole night in front of a motel, outside until the sun came up. Why? What for? I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe so that Trevor could be just magically dropped in our laps. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what to do. I, I, I don't know where the baby is. It could be. It could be anywhere. So maybe it's time for us to talk to Jesse. Go to the police. It, it becomes public record, right? I faked a baby's death. <laughs> what? Uh, hiding a baby. Why don't we just give David a gun and all the ammunition he needs? But if it helps us to find Trevor. So what, David can just turn around and take him? I can't, I can't let that happen. Tad, she took off. 